Good morning, dear students. It's me, Vivek sir, and now today we are going to study class nine, chapter first, matter in our surroundings. See, children, our chapter name is matter. So, first of all, we have to know what is matter and how it is made up of. See, matter is the substance. Matter is the substance. It should be. It may be any substance, children, which occupies space and has mass. Those substance which occupy space and has mass that is called matter. Clear, children? For example, pen, star, air, notebook, etc. Children, air is also matter. It is because when we fill the gas in our cylinder, it occupies space. and have mass that is why air is also matter now matter is made up of tiny particles please note children tiny particles is the composition of matter now we have to know what are the behavior of these particles in the matter let's see so these are the behavior of the particles the matter children first these are continuously moving they attract each other they having space between them and these characteristic children is found in all type of matter clear children now children our second point is types of matter see children in modern science matter are classified on the basis of physical property and chemical property on the basis of physical property matter are divided into three parts solid liquid and gas and on the basis of chemical property element mixture and compound so in the first chapter children we have to we have to read the physical property of solid liquid and gas and in second chapter we have to know about chemical property element mixture and compound clear children now children our third topic is let us try to understand the behavior of particles with example take a glass and fill with water we know that water is colorless and in this glass we add a pinch of ink in any color children you can take we we add some pinch of ink in this glass after a while we observe that the whole amount of water becomes blue in color so we think that how does this happen because there was only some pinch of blue in color and now it becomes whole water becomes blue in color how does this happen please note that particles possess kinetic energy clear children particles possess kinetic energy it means when we add blue color of ink in the water the particles which is present in ink it starts moving in the water in all directions and made the water blue in color let us understand another example take a glass take a two glass and in first glass fill with cold water and in second hot water now add same amount of crystal in cold water and in hot water sugar crystal children now we are using sugar crystal we observe that in beaker b which we have taken hot water in beaker b sugar dissolve more faster as comparison to cold water sugar dissolve more faster as comparison to cold water it is because as the temperature rise okay of matter as the matter temperature rise particles move faster because kinetic energy increases clear children 
Now, second behavior of the particles. Particles of matter having space between them. Let us try understand with example. Take a beaker and fill with water. And note children, in this object uh, beaker, when we fill water, we have to label the amount of water. Let's suppose this is the level of water and add some sugar crystal in this water. And when we add sugar in the water, we observe that after sugar starts dissolving in water. So there must be volume increases. But what we found the the volume of water remains same. It where does the particles of sugar goes? Clear children? So we can understand from this example volume of water remains same as in beaker A because there is a little space or there is some space between the particles of water where the particles of sugar goes and fix. Clear children? So from this we can understand that particles of matter having space between them. Now third, particles of matter attract each other. Very simple example children. Take chalk and iron and one by one hammer on it. We found that after hammering on chalk it will get converted into small pieces and when we hammer and when we hammer on iron they slightly change on the shape of iron it means the iron has not get in, converted into small pieces it means there are some force of attraction exist between the particles of iron so from this we can understand that particles of matter attract each other now our fourth point is states of matter. See children, there are three states of matter, solid, liquid and gas. And in this, we are going to study about the property of state of matter. First, solid. Solid is a state of matter in which the particles are very close to each other and they have some space between them. In liquid, the particles have space as more in solid and the particles can flow easily and in gas there are more space between the particles and as comparison to liquid and the particles in gases can freely move in all directions. Solid have definite shape, liquid no definite shape and gas no definite shape see children liquid why liquid do not have definite shape it is because liquid see the particles are very far away that is why the particles show fluidity that is why it has no definite shape gases also have no definite shape because it also so fluidity. Being the particles are closer to each other, there are more force of attraction exists between the particles in solid. That is why it cannot be compressed. But in liquid, there is low compressible because there are some force of attraction exists between the particles of liquid. And in gas, being the particles are very far away from each other, that is why it can the less force of attraction exists between them that is why it can be high compressible it has solid have definite volume liquid definite volume but gas no definite volume solid have high melting and boiling point because keep in mind higher the force of attraction higher will be the melting and boiling point there are more of force there are more force of attraction exist between the particles of solid that is why it has more melting and boiling point but in liquid 
more melting and boiling point as comparison to gas but less than solid and in gas there are less force of attraction that is why it has less melting and boiling point clear children now children our fifth point is what are the major factors which governs the state of matter means which make out the difference between solid liquid and gas and these factors are space kinetic energy and force of attractions due to difference of space the there are more difference between solid liquid and gas kinetic energy also force of attraction let us see how these are related with each other space is inversely proportional to force of attraction if there is more space less force of attraction if there is less space more of force of attraction exists between the particles for example in solid there is a little space that is why more force of attraction exists between the particles but in gas state there are more there are more space that is why less force of attraction exists between the particles second space is directly proportional to kinetic energy if there are more force more kinetic energy will be there for example in solid little space there will be little kinetic energy only the particles can move around on its own axis but in gas state there are more space that is why the particles can easily move from one place to another place in all directions clear children